Hi, so this is a brief explanation of the new ICBF dairy proofs. ICBF announced 10 days ago that it was bringing forward the May proof run because of larger than expected changes being forecast. Most of these changes are to do with additional bulls in the training population and also in a volume of new data coming into the database. So just to understand what the training population is and what it does, um, we have to just look very quickly at how genomic EBIs are generated. So when a bull is genotyped, we get a picture of his DNA um, in the form of his genes or SNPs. And each of these genes or SNPs has a value. The value of them is derived from looking at a group of older bulls with daughter proofs that we also have genotypes for. When we look at their proofs, we can generate values for each of the SNPs. The young genomic bull then, when he's genotyped, it's a matter of adding up the values of his SNPs to get his genomic EBI. So what has happened is a group of new bulls have come into the training population. And also we have new calving and new fertility data since the December proof run. The effect of this is that it recalculates the values of the SNPs, so resets the genomic values for young genomic bulls. So what ICBF have told us about this is that on average young bulls would drop for um, fertility traits. Some bulls would drop more than others. And the impact will be more seen in bulls that have genomic only proofs or a blended genomic and daughter proof. Also, the reliability of the genomic EBI will increase because of more data in the, in the database. So what has actually happened is <clears throat> when we look at the December proofs versus the current proofs from the new evaluation, we can see that bulls have changed quite a bit and that some bulls have changed more than others. So some bulls have ranked a long way down the list and some bulls have maintained their ranking. So the immediate question is, is should we continue to use genomic bulls? And the answer to this is, well, we have to look at how the genomic bulls are performing relative to the daughter proven bulls and we can still see that the genomic bulls are still ranking a lot higher than the genomic bulls and we also look at the effect of selecting for ebi by using genomic bulls in terms of what's happening in the for example the jagus next generation herd and also herds that we've profiled recently on agriland and also evidence from around the country in terms of better fertility and milk solids performance and we can see this you know genomics and ebi are definitely working in terms of generating good results on farms so if we look at the pg bulls we can see the top five genomic bulls on the new figures are 279 and ebi 69 for production 159 for fertility if we compare them to the top daughter proven bulls Top daughter proven bulls come in at 211, so quite a big difference. Top jersey bulls lower, and the top crossbreds of a similar value. So we can see the genomic bulls are ranking much higher than the geno than the daughter proven bulls. And so if we look at the ICBF active bull list that's available on the ICBF website at the moment, we can see that Progressive Genetics have four of the top five available high EBI bulls. So what we're doing in terms of getting this information out, first of all, the Progressive Genetics website has been updated. All our active dairy bulls are there with their current EBI figures. Also, we're producing a new um, proof flyer to go along with the old dairy catalog. This will have all our active bulls and this is an extract from the first page of it. So we'll have all our active bulls with their current EBI figures. We'll also have on that proof sheet 
some suggested bull teams. We're also publishing a protein flyer demonstrating that we can breed for very high protein by using some of the very high EBI bulls. So because of these changes, we've had to look at the Sire Advice panels and the Fresh Semen panel that we've already decided on for this year. So what's happening is the Fresh panel has been reviewed and the Sire Advice reports are being rerun at the moment. And these will be circulated as soon as possible. So the Fresh Semen panel is now this group of six bulls. You have Candy, Anton and Arnold who are in the top five EBI bulls in the active list. You also have Jack who would rank number two in the active list but is doesn't qualify because he just doesn't have enough cows born yet. And then you also have Parker, a very easy calving bull. And you have LWR, who's been popular before and maintained his good position, his good proof on the last one. We'll also run the sir advice for a number of heifers bulls, Ronnie and Elmo, along with Candy. And you have also got Parker as a heifers bull on fresh. So this gives us a very high EBI fresh team um, in comparison to the other bulls available. So what do we do now? <clears throat> First of all, you should familiarize yourself with the changes that have happened and be able to explain them to somebody in a, in a simple way. We need to remember that EBI is working and generating good results on farms. We need to remember that the bulls that have dropped, they don't suddenly become bad bulls. They still rank very highly in the population just not quite as high in terms of the, the very elite AI bulls. And we need to keep talking to farmers. The breeding season will be on us in a couple of weeks and we need to make arrangements with farmers and discuss bulls with farmers and make sure we have, um, we have customers coming into us when the breeding season starts. And we need to remember that we have the top bulls. We afford the top five in the active bull list. So if you need any more information, talk to your supervisor, call the office, or check out the Progressive Genetics website. We'll keep you updated and get literature out as soon as possible and um, keep everyone informed as best we can. Thank you.